All right, today we're gonna add a Samsung two terabyte 980 Pro NVMe SSD with a built-in heatseek into my Dell XPS A950. So of course, this is my Dell XPS A950. I just purchased it recently. It already has a two terabyte NVMe in it, but there's a second slot available. And I thought, why not fill her up? Fill her up, please. And then thermal for sometimes a little concerned with, so I figured why not get one with the heat sink. This one has it, so let's go ahead and put them in there. Oh, it seems like a this booklet has instructions for various types, either 2.5 inch SSD, a laptop, or an M.2. Here's the SSD itself. You can see that's the NVMe down here. There's the screw portion. And then I don't know that you can open this up nor that you would want to necessarily. That's the benefit of buying it pre-installed. You can buy just a heat sink for an SSD, but when I was looking to purchase one, I thought, well, why not just get one that already included? That seems pretty nice. So I'm gonna put this in my Dell XPS 850 and we'll check it out. All right, so obviously anytime you got work on your computer, you want to make sure the power is unplugged. Obviously. And they should go ahead and depress the power button just to make sure there's no residual power in there. Count to 10 or whatever. I'll take this out just in case. All right, so remove the side panel for the Dell XPS 8950. There's one screw back here. And you just get a Phillips or a flathead and you can take it out. It has attachments for both. The screw will not fall out. It's made in there, of course. It's very nice. And then you can just you can put your fingers in here and just pop it right out. And then the side piece, you can see, comes off. And then you can just lift it up and it comes right off. And there are instructions in here for taking out the graphics card, the PSU, or the disk drive. There's not instructions for the SSD, but I'm gonna teach you that right now. So if you can see in here, your main SSD is right there. I already have a two terabyte hard disk drive here but I wanna add my second NVMe right there. As you can see, there is the slot. Uh, I'm gonna set it on its side. All right, so you can see there's your screw. You should have a, a wrist strap of some sort. I don't have one because I am a fucking idiot. But if you're gonna do it, use a wrist strap. So the screws are already in there, which is nice. So we're gonna take that guy out. It's nice to have a magnetic screw driver. This is the iFixit kit, which I'm a big fan of. And then installing the actual SSD is very simple. You just gotta slot these guys into there and then the screw will go in here. You can see there's a thermal pad area for a smaller SSD if you had one. There's two versions of M.2. This is the NVMe. Now there's two different numbers. I forget the numbers off the top of my head. There's a shorter one and a longer one. The longer one is generally used for more storage. So it doesn't go to the very bottom. There's a top, it sticks out a little bit. So don't push it all the way to the bottom. Go just to the little top piece there. You can see where it kind of key slots in there. Hopefully you can see that. So you can see there how it fits in there, right? It only goes one way until we get that. And it clicks in. All right, so you can see there it is. We just slide it in and you push it down to screw it in. You don't need a lot of brute force. I am insanely strong. So sometimes it's hard for me to work on these devices. And I have very large hands. My buddy Tony has very small hands, so it's easy for him to work on stuff. All right, so you can see we have installed the Samsung 980 Pro with heat sink. And now we're just gonna button them back up. So you can see these little guys here clipping to the bottom of the case. They can be a little pokey, so careful with your hands. And of course, these just slot right back in there. It goes in fairly easy, and then you just push it closed and it snaps back into place. All right, and then of course, screw them back in. Screw it. All right, and now we're gonna plug it up. Uh, the next thing you'll see is me just recording the screen. All right, so here we are on my screen recording here. And so let's go ahead and we'll go to disk management. So this new one is going to be, it's not gonna be a master boot, it's gonna be a GPT. So you can see in here, this is disk zero. The C drive is the SSD that came with it. And then this D drive here is the hard disk drive and the disk two is gonna be my new one. So I will make a new simple volume. Now you can sign a drive letter. I'm gonna make it the G drive because this is gonna be for games. So you can make it whatever you want, but G seems to be easy to see. Just name it games. That's where I'm gonna store all my uh, games for gaming, of course. All right, and it seems like it is good to go. That's all you gotta do. And then if we go to this PC, you can see we have the OS and then the data. So we'll use that for backup, I guess. And then the games drive here. 
you can look, see we look at properties you can see we have you know 1.8 terabytes so that's pretty good all right so we have crystal disk mark installed here so we gotta run it first on the c drive here and we're gonna run all tests so i ran crystal disk mark on all my drives here so this is the g drive this is the samsung 980 pro i just installed you can see the speeds are getting to be 7000 which is what the box advertised a little bit faster uh, which is pretty nice i have also the hard disk drive that came installed automatically obviously it's going to be way slower you know that's a physical hard disk drive as compared to a ssd you can see how much the samsung one is crushing that one you can see we have the c drive which was already installed of course from dell so you can see i believe this is the western digital and wdc uh, the hard drive disk one i don't really know what that one is i need to look and the disc 2 is the Samsung 980 Pro with heatsink. You can see so the C drive, the Western Digital, has a read of 6931. 69! <laughs> the hard disk drive is 216. And the Samsung 980 Pro has a 7000. So a slightly faster drive uh, in the, the Samsung one I just installed. For read, the writing is a bit faster on the C drive, of course. And then, I don't, know, I don't really know what all these numbers mean, but this, is getting, this one's crushing uh, here, right? So... But the other numbers are pretty close to each other. But it seems like I got a pretty solid drive in both the C drive and the G drive now. The same thing I just added. And of course, the hard disk drive is going to be way slower. So that's just going to be for backups or storage or things I don't need to access quickly. All right, so there we are. Uh, pretty good scores from the Samsung. Pretty easy install, but I've always had good experience with Samsung drives in the past. And uh, based on my install and the speeds here, I feel comfortable recommending it. So thanks for checking me out. Thumbs up, likes, leave me questions. If you want to see other tests on the drive or the Dell XPS A950 itself, I'll have some benchmarks coming up. But all right, thanks for checking me out. <laughs>